Yo, two things I'm coming at you with today. One of them will be the single most important thing that affects the appearance of your lawn. And the other thing will be just a quick update on what the lawn's looking like now after the last video's application, which was the PGR thing, which was a new thing for me to do this early in the season. And um, there's something else that I want to address about this channel that I've kind of thought about. And yeah, I just want to put it out there for anybody that's interesting, uh, but or interested, sorry. But uh, for now, I'm going to knock out a quick mow. We've been getting a ton of rain here. I've been waiting for it to dry out and I uh, hate mowing when grass is wet because it sticks to the mower and sticks to the sidewalk and gets a little messy. I'm about two days overdue for a mow and also I'm about two days overdue for my next PGR application, which we'll talk about in just a second. Um, so let me knock this down a notch and take off some of the bushiness, right? When it comes to the topic of lawn care, there's very little that's glamorous about mowing. And that's a damn shame because it literally is the one thing that has the biggest, most direct impact on the lawn's appearance. And yet, it's usually the most overlooked part of curating a nice little patch of grass because everyone is so focused on fertilizers and herbicides and, and sure, those can definitely help level up your lawn game, but it really is all about the mowing. I mean, even a lawn that is infested with weeds looks better after a mow, right? So before you go watch every YouTube video in your quest for a miracle fertilizer or some other magic lawn potion that turns your clay soil into nutrient-rich loam, wrap your noggin around a good consistent mowing routine. And as a side note, don't get hung up on the whole rotary mower versus real mower thing. I know it's a topic with a lot of buzz around it and a lot of interest. For now, just know that there are strong pros and cons to both. And generally speaking, honestly, it really comes down to what look you want for your lawn. Like the short golf course look or the tall bushier look. Some other time, we'll dig into that conversation. For now, let's just stick to mowing in general. Okay, it is humid out here. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is, so I just finished mowing the front yard, right? Now normally, you finish mowing and then you start edging the edges along the driveway, the sidewalk, the flower beds, the tree borders. You don't have to do that every single time when you mow frequently. I mowed about four days ago, and so I edged then. It doesn't really need it right now. That's one of the cool things about, you know, getting in an extra mow every week is that you don't have to do everything. You can just get out here and mow, and you might have to blow some, some grass clippings off the driveway, but it'll be minimal. So anyway, uh, finish the front, now I'm gonna knock out the back. So, having said that, here's an idea of like an easy mowing plan that you can follow. Just, just a suggestion. Aim to mow twice a week, let's say Mondays and Thursdays. Your Monday mow is just a mow and maybe some leaf blowing, just depending on how much grass you cut off. Then your Thursday mow is full service. I mean, we're talking full mow, all the edging, leaf blowing, and maybe an application of whatever is up next in your lawn care program, right? Fertilizer or fungicide or something like that. And the whole point in the Thursday mow being a full service mow is so that your lawn looks good over the weekend. And then on Monday, you just repeat the cycle. Don't sleep on your mowing. It's the very thing with the most direct impact on your lawn's appearance. All right, this part will be brief. Um, it's time for me to do my second application of PGR. 
And so since I'm doing pretty much the same tank mix, I thought, let me set the camera up. Let me go quickly since we've already done it. But I want to talk about one of those things that I applied a little bit more, which is the reason I'm doing this. So here we go. When I'm using a fertilizer, first fertilizer that I'll always go in the bucket will be ammonium sulfate. And I'm using the same rate that I used before. All right. The other thing that I'm going to be using is again the 20-20-20. Now another reason that I'm using nitrogen again with this particular tank mix with the PGR is so when I started using PGR I was told always spray your PGR with iron and nitrogen and the reason for that is so the very first time that you apply PGR to your lawn it has a tendency to bronze your lawn or you know give your lawn like a little bit of a yellow hue and it's only the first time you apply it in the season right um, it doesn't happen every time you apply it so we use nitrogen to kind of help reduce that effect now that bronzing isn't a big deal really because it shows up like a day or two after you apply your PGR the first time and then you just mow it off the next time you mow and it's done All right, the next thing, same thing as last time, micronutrients. In this case, I'm using iron, and I like using iron because it gives grass a little flush of green. The final thing that's gonna go in our tank mix is the PGR. And this is the one I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit. The reason this application needs to happen today, or actually it needed to happen three days ago, right? The reason I know it needed to be three days ago is that how quickly your PGR is used is determined by air temperatures. There is this unit of measurement called growing degree days or GDDs. You'll sometimes see it referred to it like that. And basically it's like a formula where it takes into account temperatures. The hotter it is, the quicker the plant uses the PGR. Now, the last time that I applied this, which was the first time I applied it this season, was April 30th. April, it's a little cooler than it will be in June and July. So the application calculation according to my GDDs came out to about 17, 18 days. Okay, that's why that needed to happen three days ago according to that formula. In the middle of summer, it gets so hot here, you know, us Texans will end up reapplying our PGR like every 10, 11-ish, 12-ish days sometimes. Anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to say about PGRs. If you want to learn about GDDs or growing degree days, you can go on greencastonline.com and they even have a tool you can use where if you put in your email and you sign up, create a free account, they'll email you a reminder of when it's time to reapply. You know, you put in there, you know, when you applied and the size of your lawn and stuff like that and, and they'll send you a reminder like, hey, according to when you said you applied it, this is, now it's time to reapply it. Anyway. Somebody asked me last time, why do you pour your PGR into a cup? I have poured into a cup because it's easy to syringe out of a cup than it is to syringe out of the bottle. Now that that's done. Okay. Close out this video, uh, some parting thoughts, uh, parting words about something that I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like I want to put this out there. Some of you will hear this and go, who cares? And some of you will hear it and go, cool. It's something that came up after I had two different conversations with two different people that I, that I know personally. So when I published the last video, you know, they watched the video and 
they were calling me and talking to me about what they thought and what they saw and whatever. And, and neither one of them was trying to be insulting or trying to say anything. Just They were just making the comment that, hey, man, it's, you know, Salesman Jay, you know, it, it, it's, it looks like you were pushing some product there. And as soon as I heard that, I mean, it's just kind of like, oh, I didn't. It didn't sit well with me. And again, it's not that they meant it insulting. They were just making a comment. But it struck a nerve with me because I am so anti that kind of stuff. And I think that matters. I think it's, it's important to me that you know this. Man, I'm, I'm just a regular dude who likes to have a nice lawn. I like working on it. I just want something that my family can enjoy and something that we can be proud of. And the reason I say that is because in my videos, my intention is just to share information that I've picked up over the years. My intention is never to sell you anything. If you ever see me mention a product in one of my videos, it's only so that you know what it is that I'm using. Um, you know, and, and listen, I, I'm not bashing anybody out there hustling, trying to make a buck selling stuff. It's the American way, right? But it's not my thing at least not in this medium. Uh, I really set this channel up just so I could share information, man. I can't, I don't know any other way to say it. Yeah, I just, it just seems disingenuous for me that's not a professional to try and push product on you. Um, now, having said that, let me be very clear about this. Do I have affiliate links in the descriptions of my videos? A few, sometimes, yeah. But you've never heard me talk about them, right? It's never like, hey, if you want this, use the affiliate link. And believe me, man, no one's getting rich using Amazon affiliates. At least I'm not. <laughs> it pays cents on the dollar. The reason that I'm even using affiliate links is because early on when I started the channel, you know, I kind of really catered or, or, or worded my videos more towards the beginner side, you know, the people that were getting into this and didn't know where to start, didn't have really a direction. You know, a few of those people asked about, hey, what's that scale you're using? What are those AccuPore measuring cups you're talking about? And the nitrile gloves, the paddle for the drill. You know, so I thought, you know what? If people are gonna buy this stuff as a result of having seen one of my videos, maybe I should make a few cents off of it. So yes, I do have affiliate links in my description, but this is the first time you're hearing me even mention them. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Um, I hope you've gotten something out of my second PGR application. Again, this is me just documenting what I do, hoping that it helps somebody out there. Um, as Bill and Ted say, be excellent to each other. See you in the next one.